so in this series because this is revision series and revision series should look like the revision one so i would try ki hello everyone greetings of the day i am here again with the new series that we have started for revision of ordinary differential equation i would try that these kind of series that would be there for the entire mathematics optional and we have started with od if somebody have not watched the part 1 then you can go for the part 1 and this is the part 2 here i have tried that समटाइम पीपल डू फाइंड आउट दैट मैम सब कुछ कर लिया बट रिविजन नहीं हो पा रही है रिविजन नहीं हो पा रही है क्योंकि बच्चे शॉर्ट नोट्स बनाने से डरते हैं एक्चुअली आई डू से इन द स्टार्टिंग इट्स कि आपके पास क्लास नोट्स के साथ साथ शॉर्ट नोट्स भी होने चाहिए बट स्टिल इफ सम हाउ यू आर मिसिंग दैट देन एट द फाइनल टाइम और यू कैन से एट द ब्रिंक ऑफ द टाइम वैन यू वुड नॉट बी हैविंग एनी टाइम फॉर यू बिफोर योर टेस्ट सीरीज बिफोर योर पेपर्स देन यू वुड बी दिस सीरीज वुड बी हेल्पफुल टू यू so in the first thing we have done the ordinary differential equation of first order both first degree as well as higher degree and here we will be discussing ordinary differential equations of higher degree so for that what kind of ordinary differential equation of higher degree look like so general equation of ordinary differential equation of higher degree is this way p note that is d raised to power n plus p1 d raised to power n this is capital d d raised to power n minus 1 then p2 d raised to power n minus 2 and so on this would be there up to pn and then constant along with y is equal to x where everybody knows d is what symbolic form of d by dx d by dx and similarly d square is second order derivative ki symbolic form ho jayegi dx square and same way dn would be what d raised to power n over dx raised to power n so this way we do have different different symbolic form okay and for you if we have to find out this one then it matters that what are p node p1 p2 up to pn so in case this do have two format one p not p1 p2 and so on pn if they are constant if all of them are constant then this partial differential equation is known as linear differential equation with constant coefficients what we will say linear differential equation with constant coefficients okay but if they are not constant not constant or isi ko kya kahoge if this is not constant then it is a linear differential equation so y ka function to ho nahi sakta all the p not p1 up to pn all or some of them are functions of x if they are functions of small x then what would happen then we do have specific cases one if it is of some particular pattern then we will deal with homogeneous equation homogeneous ordinary differential equation okay and if particular pattern nahi hai but then it is of second order because i am dealing with our syllabus only second order with variable constant constant with variable constant if it is second order with variable constant then we do have separate method for this we do have separate method and for this also we do have separate method so in this series because this is revision series and revision series should look like the revision one so i would try ki videos hamari choti choti rahe in this video we will be discussing this one only 
in the upcoming video we will deal with this portion of higher order differential equation so let's continue with this one and for this what we require for any higher order differential equation with constant coefficients we have to find out two parts one is known as complementary factor this is complementary factor and it is a solution of your only left hand side what is this it is solution of this portion i would be writing right hand side equal to 0 and for finding out the solution for right hand part you do have particular integral first we will try to find out how we would be finding out the complementary factor and then we will find out particular integral as well okay so let's proceed for complementary factor i would be rewriting the equation again and we are dealing with only constant coefficients so i let me write first this is p naught dn plus p1 dn minus 1 plus p2 dn minus 2 and so on up in the last we do have pn and y is equal to 0 this portion the symbolic format it is known by some name and that is auxiliary equation auxiliary equation but our main focus is how to find out the complementary factor and for that what you need to do you have to factorize this equation how you would be factorizing this one for factorizing this one these what we will have p naught p1 p2 pn these are constants and we will put put d is equal to m then this equation become p naught m raised to power n plus p1 m raised to power n minus 1 up to p n and that is equal to 0 this is the symbolic form and here what you need to do you need to find out the roots of this equation this is a nth order differential equation and you can a, can say nth order equation so it would be having n roots and let's suppose these n roots find out the roots and let these n roots n roots are what are m1 m2 up to mn okay so up to here all the procedure is simple what you need to do convert d right at the place of d is equal to m you would be getting a mth order equation and for that you need to solve this equation if it is mth degree equation then you would be getting m different different m roots it may be different it may be same or depending upon different different values it can be anything and depending upon the nature of these roots we will find out that what would be the complementary factor so there may be chances that let me make some space and then we will be doing this one so now these m roots are there but don't we have choices here if first choice is all the roots are are real and different kya hai first thing they should be real second thing all of them should be different and if it is so then what would be our complementary factor then complementary factor is written as complementary factor would be c1 that is constant any constant c1 e raised to power m1x plus c2 e raised to power m2x up to cn e raised to power mnx and that would be our complementary factor kuch nahi karna roots find out kiye hain sabhi roots ko e raised to power mein likhte jaiye and you would be getting the solution okay that is the complementary factor but there may be some chances that some of root may be repetitive man ke chaliye hai to real but different nahi hai second case is m1 is equal to m2 or rest all of them are different m3 m4 and mn are different then what would be complementary factor see agar hum pehle wala follow kare then what would happen we will get c1 e raised to power m1x plus c2 e raised to power m2x but m2x is nothing but m1 only so yaha bhi m1 ho jayega and then e raised to power mn m1x would be common or ultimately you would be getting c1 plus c2 but that is another constant na and you would be having 
सोल्यूशन ऑफ ए ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ एन एथ ऑर्डर बट नंबर ऑफ कोफिशेंट वुड रिड्यूस टू एन माइनस वन बट दैट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल इफ योर एन एथ ऑर्डर ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज देयर देन वट शुड हैपन इट शुड कैरी इक्वल नंबर ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट्स इन टू इट्स सोल्यूशन एंड टू रिजोल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वट यू नीड टू डू इफ यू डू हैव टू रूट इक्वल देन कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फैक्टर बिकम्स राइट सी वन एज इट इज प्लस सी टू के साथ क्या लिखना है द इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड इन दिस केस वट इज द इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल द वन विद विच यू आर डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग दैट इज एक्स सो दिस इज एक्स इन टू ई रेज टू पावर एम वन एक्स प्लस रेस्ट ऑल द रियल नंबर रियल रूट विच आर डिफरेंट दे वुड बी रिटर्न इन द सिमिलर वे दैट वी हैव फॉलोड इन टू पार्ट वन सो इट वुड बी सी थ्री ई रेज टू पावर एम थ्री एक्स and the last one is c n e raised to power m n x i think now it is clear that if two roots are equal then what you need to do you have to write two coefficients together but what co constant you need to multiply with the dependent independent variable okay so this is all about real and different roots real and similar roots but what if roots are not real then we know one basic thing if roots are not real then what happens then they are complex one but there is one condition complex roots always occur into pairs in a real equation complex roots always occur into pairs so let's assume three roots are complex and if the complex roots are complex then roots would be like m is equal to alpha plus iota beta would be there now that is a complex root but we know complex root occur into pairs so it would be always alpha plus iota beta is a root then alpha minus iota beta has to be the root and then how you would be writing the complementary factor for this root the complementary factor is written as the real part of this one is written as e raised to power alpha x plus for the imaginary part what you need to do you have to write e dekho yaar basics yaad rakho basics kya kehte hain you should have c1 e raised to power m1 m1 x hona chahiye tha that would be alpha plus iota beta plus c2 e raised to power alpha minus iota beta yahi hona chahiye na and yahan se I can write e raised to power alpha, e raised to power alpha either. So what we will be getting? E raised to power alpha is common, and we are left with c1 e raised to power iota beta plus c2 e raised to power minus iota beta. But what is i bar e raised to power iota beta? Cos beta plus iota sine beta. And what it what it would be? Cos beta minus iota sine beta. Let's write. I will write directly also. But once I am telling you. that how to go by basics this is cos iota cos beta plus iota sin beta and what it would be plus c2 cos beta minus iota sin beta hai na aur yahan se hum kya karenge club the coefficients of cos beta together and club the coefficients of sin beta together then that there would be c1 plus c2 C1 plus C2 cos beta and next one would be C1 minus C2 sin beta or along with iota. So you are getting two coefficients. One is C1 plus C2, another one is C1 minus C2. Instead of writing C1 plus C2, C1 minus C2, can I write A and B out there? So this would be e raised to power alpha A cos beta plus iota B sin beta, है ना? यही बन रहा है सो so, चाहे आप बेसिक से जाइए यही आएगा और याद रखने के तरीके से जब रिवीजन सीरीज हो तो ऐसे करो ना करो बिल्कुल सिंपल याद रखने का तरीका है ई रेज टू पावर रियल पावर एल्फा एक्स लिख दो देन कॉन्स्टेंट ओस बीटा प्लस आयोटा बी साइन बीटा एंड दैट इज हाउ यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर रियल पार्ट वुड बी द पार ऑफ ई रेज टू पावर एल्फा एंड इमेजिनरी पार्ट 
would be the angle of cos beta and sin beta that is how you would be writing this is how you would be driving the thing but for the revision purpose it is okay if you don't need to derivation do remember this one directly and similarly if here the roots would be repeated to kya karna hai constants ke saath a plus b x kar do a1 plus b1 x kar dijiye aur wahan bhi b plus b1 x kar dijiye and that is how you would be writing for real and complex sabhi roots ho gaye so this was all about how to find out complementary factor but this is the portion of only left hand side what about the right hand side for right hand side you have to find out particular integral and how you would find out the particular integral so particular integral is written as 1 by f d into x x is what right hand side jo right hand side hai then what is f of d f of d is your auxiliary equation jo hum symbolic form mein likhte hain so that is your auxiliary equation and then you need to find out this particular integral this is the formula for pi into short form but how you would be calculating this one to cal calculate this what you need to do you need to factorize this one and how you would factorize this one d minus alpha 1 would be the d minus alpha 2 would be the up to d minus alpha n n degree hai n factor to aayenge into x and then you have to solve it one by one but what is the formula for solving this one so formula here is d minus alpha x if you have to calculate this one then formula is write e raised to power alpha x as it is integral e raised to power minus of this one minus alpha x into x dx this is the formula this x is right hand side so it is the basic formula that you need to do and if you don't know anything you don't remember any formula then go with basic principle this is the basic definition to find pi but to solve this one into easier way and to calculate to reduce the calculation time period there are some of the specific cases and i would be writing them as well because they these special cases they comes very handy when you are calculating the particular integral so this depends upon the feature of x they says first case is if x is equal to e raised to power ax type something ki aapki right hand side hai wo sirf e raised to power ax jaisa kuch hai then what would be pi then pi mein definition says it should be 1 by f of d into e raised to power ax but how you would be calculating rather than going by integration sirf sirf aapko kya karna hai into denominator replace d by a d ko sirf a se replace kar dijiye and you are done so here pi would be pi 1 by f of a e raised to power ax but there is a condition f of a should not be equal to 0 because if denominator is equal to 0 then that would be undefined but there may be chances that it is equal to 0 but what if f if f of a is equal to 0 tab kya karenge koi to hathiyar tab bhi hona chahiye zero to ban hi sakta hai it is not like ki niche zero nahi ban sakta then what you need to do for pi जो भी आपके पास यहाँ है x से मल्टीप्लाई कर दीजिए नीचे वाला जो है f डैश डी उसको क्या लिख देंगे डेरिवेटिव विद रिस्पेक्ट टू d ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर एंड देन रिपीट द प्रोसीजर डेरिवेटिव करने के बाद रिप्लेस d बाई ए एंड इफ यू आर एबल टू फाइंड आउट दैट देन नॉन जीरो आ गया तो अच्छी बात है बट अगर फिर से जीरो आ जाता है फिर से क्या करेंगे अगेन x से मल्टीप्लाई कीजिए फिर से डेरिवेटिव कीजिए and then repeat the processor and so on you would be doing this one so this is one of the case if your function is of the type e raised to power ax so there may be another cases as well yes we do do have yahan kya karna hai if your x is either cos ax or sin ax ya to cos ax jaisa kuch hai ya sin ax jaisa kuch hai then what you need to do how you will find out the particular integral 
सो पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल की डेफिनेशन क्या कहती है बेसिक इट शुड बी वन बाय एफ ऑफ डी एंड कोस ए एक्स साइन ए एक्स भी इसी तरीके से होगा आप डील कर लीजिएगा सो so, मैं कोस के लिए लिख देती हूँ क्या करना है इसको एफ ऑफ डी है ना उस हम उसे हम ट्राई करेंगे टू मेक जी ऑफ डी स्क्वायर टाइप का कि उसको स्क्वायर जैसा बना लो एंड उसके बाद टू फाइंड आउट पी आई रिप्लेस डी स्क्वायर बाय माइनस ए स्क्वायर डू रिमेंबर दिस माइनस साइन यू मे कंफ्यूज वेदर देर वुड बी माइनस और नॉट माइनस इज आउटसाइड देन ए स्क्वायर इट इज नॉट लाइक कि माइनस ए का स्क्वायर है फिर तो फिर ए स्क्वायर ही लिख देते ना सो माइनस ए स्क्वायर से रिप्लेस कर दीजिए ठीक है जब तक जीरो नहीं आ रहा डिनोमिनेटर देन दैट इज फाइन बट इफ इट अकर्स जीरो देन क्या होगा फिर से वही सिस्टम करना है मल्टीप्लाई बाय एक्स टेक द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर देन रिपीट द प्रोसीजर एंड सो ऑन सिमिलर ओके जी सो दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट वट इज द थर्ड पार्ट आपकी चीजें ऐसे भी तो हो सकती है किसने कहा है कि एक्स सिर्फ यही हो सकता है एक्स मे बी ऑफ द टाइम e रेज टू पावर ए एक्स इन टू समेक् एफ रहने दीजिए जी ले लेते हैं क्योंकि एफ इज ऑलरेडी टेकन सम जी एक्स देन वट वी विल बी डूइंग वट वी विल डू हाउ वी वुड बी सॉल्विंग दिस वन इसे शिफ्टिंग भी बोल देते हैं डेफिनेशन से इज द पी आई शुड बी दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट पी आई शुड बी वन बाय एफ ऑफ डी इन टू ई रेज टू पावर ए एक्स जी एक्स अब अपने पास एक तरीका है दिस ई रेज टू पावर ए एक्स कैन बी टेकन आउटसाइड हाउ आप इसको बाहर लिखिए बट यू हैव टू मेक सम चेंजेस एंड चेंजेस वे आर इन टू द डिनोमिनेटर इधर क्या करना होगा डी शुड बी रिप्लेस्ड बाई डी प्लस ए अगर आपने डी को डी प्लस ए रिप्लेस कर दिया देन यू कैन सोल्व इट फर्दर डन ठीक है सो दैट इज द थर्ड पार्ट that e raised to power ax can be taken outside and then you have to change d by d plus a and then go with gx what behavior gx do shows according to that you have to proceed okay done then fourth case is that x may be of the type x into v there is some simple x and then some other function of x v x लिख दीजिए सो दैट यू डू नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज अगर ऐसा हो तो क्या करना है पी आई वुड बी पी आई वुड बी इट शुड बी डेफिनेशन सी इज एफ ऑफ डी इन टू एक्स वी एक्स बट यू मे बी थिंकिंग जैसे हमने ई रेज टू पार ए एक्स को बाहर ले लिया क्या एक्स को ले सकते हैं इसका क्या फॉर्मूला है यस वी कैन डू पहली बार एक्स को एज इट इज बाहर रखिए और बाकी एफ ऑफ डी वी एक्स इसको सोल्व कर लीजिए बट अलोंग विथ दिस देर वुड बी सेकेंड टर्म सेकेंड टर्म से इज दैट अब एक्स नहीं आएगा डी बाय डी करना है किसका वन बाय एफ ऑफ डी का दिस इज कंप्लीट डायरेवेटिव ऑफ दिस टर्म वन बाय एफ डी और फिर साथ में क्या लिख दो वी एक्स एंड देन प्रोसीड इफ यू आर एबल टू डू दिस वन देन दैट इज योर सोल्यूशन सो this would be your particular solution you have find out the complementary factor you have find out the particular integral then what would be the final solution solution would be y that is dependent variable is equal to complementary factor plus pi dono ko add kar dijiye complementary factor is giving you the solution for left hand side pi is giving you the solution for right hand side so with this this was the revision series for higher order differential equation with constant coefficients into next series we will be dealing the cons the coefficient would be variable and stay tuned for more videos of the revision series okay guys all the best thank you